everyone welcome to the Pachira talks channel and today we are going to talk about terraform modules well this is something which is very important as per the uh, production prospect because you're not going to write your code every time you need to deploy something okay so module is something which will make your entire code re reusable this will help you to save your time and deploy infrastructure absolutely absolutely in a go with the constant behavior so to make it more simple and understandable it is like you have created your code which includes a resource group a virtual network a vm or nsgs disk and all that's all construct uh, an entire environment so every time when you are going to deploy infrastructure with the help of terraform you go ahead and type the code but instead of typing each and everything what if you can save your code in the form of module and when you write your code you can get all the information from the modules okay if it is not making any sense to you right now let me show you I was doing this practice before sharing my screen and recording so that I could save some time. So it's very simple. We have created two files here reg.tf, variable.tf. Reg.tf, which says resource, Azure RM resource group. It's a logical name for the Terraform. Resource group name would be Batman, location would be East US there's no variable as of now just a simple single file what we do at the very first when we write a code we initiate the terraform so let's initiate it and then we can terraform apply well we can go and do the plan as well but i have not put the auto approve so it will give me the uh, output and not the output output of Terraform but what it is going to deploy it will ask the permission yes or no so you can see it is going to deploy a resource group named Batman in East US you can see that right here okay it's a very simple example now what if we want this code to come to us from a module or let's convert this into a module so it's very easy if I'll show you the code for the module yeah I was going through this so you see calling a child module means a subfolder so this is the uh, code syntax module name that's a logical name and the source where a module is and you can call this module so we are going to do the same thing open it up we're gonna make it a module so let me cop uh, let me create one folder first right that's the folder let me call, call it module okay and I need to create one file here that would be module.tf okay now you see it's absolutely absolutely straightforward I'm copying this code Control X putting it here see all right so in our original file we don't have any code so we are going to call a code from this folder which is a subfolder we can call the code from the github from your private repositories from any other folder but for now it is in the subfolder okay so let's type module your snippet will give you the information let me call it module all right where is the source source is in the subfolder that is module okay so it is what it is so I think it should be okay 
uh, let me cross the one line first okay I'm just going to type it so I I forgot to exit so I was trying to exit and I press control C that's why it's the red color don't worry about it so we copied the code in the module.tf file inside which creates a module and just an example it's absolutely basic of module but if you understand this you can create any kind of module and in from this file we are calling module source subfolder we don't have anything else to define no variable uh, no values okay because everything is defined in the module already see right there cool now let me initiate terraform as we always do reason being it should, terraform should be aware there's a module practice we are doing so see uh, it found a module let me see initializing a module terraform knows what module is that's their syntax so module is initiated now let's do terraform apply no forget to terraform apply now it will apply the module oh sorry not the module but the resource group name batman but this information is not in our main file this is coming from the module okay if i say yes it should go ahead and deploy the batman name resource group in azure okay see it's doing that so it's done it's completed batman cool so you can see we have nothing there is no code but in reality it is pulling code from the module which is there in the subdirectory now before i uh, complete this video just wanted to inform you this is what we use in our production environment in the real environment you do practice all kind of syntax and code but in real environment what we do we follow the modules as per your uh, you know environment for example i work for xyz company and they offer services to their customers so they have absolutely planned out everything what kind of vnet what kind of nsgs what kind of you know all other environment and accordingly their devops team has created the modules so you can go ahead utilize those modules if they do not have you can use the public modules or you can create your own module and keep it with you keep it in your repository and keep sourcing it and creating the code saving the time well thank you i hope this would be a learning experience for you guys let's meet in another video thank you have a good day bye, -bye.